In the ever-unfolding narrative of existence, our creative energy emerges as a potent force, capable of shaping destinies and transforming the mundane. Into the magnificent, yet, this vibrant energy often finds itself ensnared by the tendrils of negative emotions. Guilt, insecurity, and hatred act as formidable adversaries, draining the vitality required for innovative thought and positive action. The philosopher's ancient dialogue reminds us that these emotional chains are not merely personal afflictions, but universal battles, echoing the struggles of figures from myth and history. Our identity, a complex tapestry woven from interactions, possessions, and environments, stands as a testament to our journey through life. While it offers a sense of belonging and purpose, it can also become a gilded cage, limiting our perception of self and potential. This notion echoes the teachings of sages and mystics who have long warned of the dangers of attachment to the material and transient. As we navigate through the layers of externally influenced identity, we embark on a quest for self-discovery, seeking a core unsullied by the ephemeral world. The direction of our attention is not merely a passive act, but a powerful force that shapes our reality. By focusing on the known and tangible, we risk becoming prisoners of our own making, confined to a reality devoid of imagination and potential. This concept is mirrored in the musings of poets and the findings of quantum physicists alike, both asserting that our focused attention has the power to transform the very fabric of reality. As we shift our gaze towards the unexplored and unknown, we invite a world of possibilities, encouraging growth and fostering a mindset of abundance. Quantum physics, a realm of science that often brushes shoulders with the mystical, presents us with the startling revelation of the observer effect. This principle suggests that at the most fundamental level of reality, the act of observation isn't just a passive receipt of information, but an active engagement that alters what is being observed. It's a concept that turns the traditional notion of an objective, detached universe on its head and implies that, at some profound level, the observer and the observer and the observed are intertwined. This notion resonates deeply with various spiritual traditions across the world. Many of these traditions have long posited that reality is not a fixed construct, but a fluid and ever-changing interplay of thoughts, intentions, and consciousness. They suggest that our minds have the power to shape our reality, not just in the metaphorical sense of influencing our perceptions and attitudes, but in the very real sense of influencing the events and circumstances of our lives. Embracing the quantum perspective encourages a radical shift in how we view our role in the universe. No longer mere bystanders, we're invited to become active participants, co-creators of our own reality. It's a call to recognize and harness the power of our consciousness to navigate and influence the unfolding narrative of our lives. This shift is akin to the ancient navigators who set out to sea, guided by the stars. They weren't just passive travelers carried by the winds, but active participants in their journey, reading the signs, understanding the currents, and using their knowledge to chart their course in a similar way. Understanding the observer effect empowers us to navigate the seas of our own lives. We begin to see that our thoughts, intentions, and focused attention are like the stars that guided those ancient travelers. Tools to help us chart our course. Tools to help us chart our course through the often uncharted waters of our personal experiences. This doesn't mean we can control every aspect of our lives or bend reality to our will. The universe is a complex, dynamic system, and our individual consciousness interacts with a myriad of other factors. But it does mean that we have a role in shaping our journey. 
that our consciousness can influence the path we take and the experiences we have along the way. By integrating the insights of quantum physics with the wisdom of spiritual traditions, we open ourselves to a more dynamic and empowered relationship with the world. We begin to understand that we're not just passive observers, but active participants in the tapestry of existence, in the tapestry of existence. This realization is both humbling and exhilarating, offering a new sense of responsibility for the reality we inhabit and the future we create. It's an invitation to live more consciously, more intentionally, and more fully. To not just drift through life, but to steer our course with awareness and purpose, using the power of our consciousness to explore the vast, mysterious, and wondrous universe we are a part of. To unlock the full spectrum of human potential requires a daring venture beyond the comfortable and familiar boundaries of the known. It's not merely a shift in focus, but a profound transformation that aligns us with an infinite expanse of possibilities that stretch far beyond the physical and material world. In this transcendent space, we engage with the essence of pure consciousness, a realm where mystics and sages have found deep solace and where the greatest innovators and thinkers have drawn their inspiration. This journey into the beyond is more than a metaphorical path. It's a profound realignment of our very being. As we move deeper into this realm, we begin to see that the self is not a fixed and isolated entity, but a fluid and interconnected part of the vast tapestry of the universe. Our thoughts, actions, and intentions become more than personal impulses. They resonate with the cosmic dance of creation, echoing through the fabric of reality. In this space, the distinction between the individual and the universe begins to blur, and we realize that our innermost essence is woven from the same thread that composes the stars, the mountains, and the depths of the sea. This realization isn't just intellectual. It's a deep, experiential understanding that can transform how we view ourselves and our place in the cosmos. Here, in the confluence of the self and the universe, lies the potential for extraordinary transformation. It's a state where creativity knows no bounds, where innovation isn't just about new ideas, but about seeing the world through a completely new lens. The great inventors and thinkers who have tapped into this realm haven't just accessed new thoughts. They've accessed a new way of thinking. This is also the space where Mystics and sages have dwelt, not removed from the world, but deeply engaged with it in a way that transcends ordinary understanding. They found solace not in escape, but in a deeper engagement with the reality that underlies all things, a profound harmony that resonates with the fundamental rhythm of the universe. Engaging with this realm is not a passive experience. It's an active exploration where our thoughts and intentions are not just personal whims, but powerful forces that interact with the fabric of reality. We become co-creators in the cosmic dance of creation, partners in the unfolding narrative of the universe. This journey is not without its challenges. Venturing beyond the known requires courage, openness, and a willingness to let go of preconceived notions and comfortable certainties. But the rewards are immense. It's a path that leads to a deeper understanding of ourselves and the universe, a greater sense of connection and purpose, and an expanded capacity for creativity and innovation. As we embark on this journey, we become part of a grand exploration that has fascinated humans for millennia. We join the ranks of those who have dared to look beyond the horizon, who have sought not just to understand the world, but to engage with it in a deeper, more profound way. It's a journey that takes us 
not just outward into the unknown, but inward, into the depths of our own being, where we discover that the most profound mysteries lie not in the far reaches of space, but within ourselves. Meditation, mindfulness, and other contemplative practices are not merely activities, but gateways to a profound inner universe. When individuals engage in these practices, they step beyond the ordinary boundaries of perception and thought, tapping into a field of infinite possibilities. This realm is not external, but deeply rooted within the core of our being, where all is interconnected and every potential exists. The process begins as we learn to quiet the mental chatter and the clamor of the ego. It's like entering a quiet room after being in the chaos of a bustling city. In this silence, the superficial layers of self begin to dissolve, revealing the deeper, truer self beneath. This is not an escape from reality, but a deeper immersion into what is most real and essential. As the mind stills, one finds themselves in a state of profound inner stillness. Not an emptiness, but a fullness of presence, where every moment is complete in itself, unclouded by past regrets or future anxieties. It's here, in this state of deep inner peace and alignment, that one becomes attuned to the cosmic flow, the underlying rhythm and harmony of the universe. This inward quest reflects the lives and teachings of countless saints, poets and philosophers across history and geography. Despite their diverse cultures, languages, and eras, they share a common voice, a universal echo resonating with the truth that significant transformation and profound understanding start from within. These individuals did not find their wisdom in the hustle of everyday life, but in the quiet recesses of their minds and hearts. They turned inward, not to escape, but to understand and connect with a reality broader and deeper than the physical one that surrounds us. They discovered that the key to unlocking the secrets of the universe lies not in reaching outward, but in turning inward. In our modern world, where the external often overwhelms the internal, this wisdom is more relevant than ever. It's a call to slow down, to breathe, and to look within. For in doing so, we're not retreating from the world, but preparing to engage with it more fully, more deeply, and more effectively. We become beacons of calm and clarity in a tumultuous world, living testaments to the power and potential of the human spirit. This path is not about acquiring knowledge in the traditional sense, but about transforming perception. It's about seeing beyond the illusions of separation and recognizing the underlying unity of all things. This shift in understanding brings with it a profound sense of peace, compassion, and wonder. We begin to see the world and ourselves in a new light, infused with a sense of sacredness and purpose. As we continue on this path, the distinctions between the inner and the outer, the self and the other, begin to blur. We come to see that the journey inward and the journey outward are not two, but one, a single dance of consciousness and love unfolding in the eternal now. This realization is the ultimate fruit of the inward path, the discovery that the entire universe resides within us, and that we, in turn, reside within the universe. Engaging in these practices and embracing this understanding isn't just for the select few. It's a potential that exists within every person, waiting to be realized. It's a call to remember what we've always known deep down, but have forgotten in the noise and haste of our lives. It's an invitation to awaken to the truth of who we are and what we can become. 